so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's geforce experience so select your product type and then select the right series so whichever is your series select your series in my case it's strategy series so select your series and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then select game ready driver it should be by default and then click on search now click on download and then click on download once again now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen now click on agree and continue and then select custom select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the clean installation is done now you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game so make sure that you restart your computer after this and then restart your computer uh, and then launch the game so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game still you're facing the problem run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties now go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok now make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check over here and select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working again go to properties and then this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working then again go to properties and this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game 
Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still you are facing the problem. Then in that case, you can uncheck these, box, these boxes and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now close this, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Again, make a right click. This time type in dash DX12 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, then remove this and then make it empty and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game file. Now this is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then go to Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security, then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed is C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open. Once it is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings in the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on open. Once the game is added, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. This is important. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse over here. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and x64. So click on x86. And then once the download is complete, run this exe file, click on it. And then if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install, click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well, click on it. Again, once the download is complete, I run this exe file as well. Now click on it. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once both the installation are complete, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to unplug external devices from the computer. So if you have these devices connected on your computer, disconnect it. Disconnect, sometimes we have additional controller connected. So if you have any additional controller connected, Disconnect it. Dis try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay and close other overlay applications. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Now launch the game. Also close other overlay applications. So if you have any other overlay applications running like Discord, GeForce Experience. So close all the overlay application from your computer. Also close all the 
overclocking implication. So if you have MSI afterburner, revert tuner, or any overclocking application running, then you can close it. Also perform clean boot. Now for this to perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So first of all, put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Update your Windows to the latest version. This is important. Go to Windows settings, go to Windows update or, or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, try launching the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to another drive like E drive, D drive, in that case, try installing the game to C drive and then check. Now, if the game is already installed in C drive, in that case, you can try install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.